If what I'm thinking is correct, when your confinement began, you were Kira. I don't believe it's coincidence that as soon as you were imprisoned, all the killing was stopped. Until then, everything pointed to you being Kira. But after two weeks, criminals actually began dying again. Based on that evidence, I can only conclude that Kira's power passes between people. That's an interesting idea, but if it's true, it'll be nearly impossible for us to catch Kira. Yes, that's why I'm overwhelmed. Even if we catch someone under his control, they'll likely lose their powers and any memory of their crimes. So in the end, pursuing them becomes futile. But at this point, we have no way of knowing if that's the case. Cheer up, would you? Cheer up? No, I'm sorry, I can't. It's probably better if I just stop trying so hard. By chasing Kira so desperately, we're just putting our lives at risk for nothing. Yes, it's just a waste of time. Ryuzaki. Huh? <laughs> 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 you know, that really hurt. That's enough! You don't feel like doing anything. Just because your genius deduction was wrong and I'm not, Kira? <sighs> Fine. Perhaps I phrased that the wrong way. I meant it would be pointless for us to make a move, so we shouldn't even bother. If we don't chase Kira, he'll never be caught. Is that what you want? If you were just gonna give up, then why did you involve all those innocent people? More importantly, what was the point of putting Misa and me behind bars? 